Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda. You might recognize Simba and Nala from Disney's The Lion King. They are gonna get ponyfied. In this video, we are gonna transform Applejack into Nala. Her body is pretty simple. We're gonna paint the entire thing with two layers of this light sandy beige color. Once that has completely dried, I'm gonna add some white to the beige to create a lighter shade for her chest and we're gonna run that stripe all the way to her tail and up the sides of her body. I started off with the pony that was completely prepped and ready for painting. If you need an in-depth tutorial on how to remove the hair from a My Little Pony, I will link my video down in the description below. There's a harsh line where the two colors meet, so we're just gonna feather that out a little bit using a makeup sponge. We're just gonna dab a little bit of that light color right along the edge to create a more seamless paint job. The difference is very subtle, but I think it makes it look a lot better. Now, finally, Nala is just missing her cutie mark. I thought we could go with the circle of life symbol from the Lion King. I actually painted my paper using the same color as Nala's body and then I printed out the symbol from the internet and we're just going to apply this directly onto the flank using a thin layer of the clear top coat and then I'm just going to grab that symbol with the tip of my paintbrush and carefully position it where I want it to be and then I'm going to tap it down right into that wet top coat so it sticks right onto the pony's body. Then we're going to cover the entire pony with two layers of top coat to seal in our cutie mark and our paint job. That's it for Nala's body. Super simple. Let's get started on Nala's head. There's going to be a lot of details to her face so it's gonna be a lot of painting but first we need to cover up all of these holes that were left over when Applejack's mane was removed so I'm gonna take a small piece of Sugru which is an air dry rubber that I prefer over air dry clay and we're just going to press the Sugru directly onto the pony's head and then using the warmth from our fingers we're gonna spread it out and smooth out the edges to create this nice seamless look right here all those holes are completely covered now that the Subaru has completely dried we can cover the head with two layers of that same sandy beige color once that base coat has completely dried, we can go in with all of the facial details. Have you seen the two Lion Kings, the original animated one and the new one that just came out on Friday? If you've seen both, you gotta let me know which one was your favorite. I know a lot of people were into the new one because it has Beyonce. She is the one who does the voice of Nala. So I've actually seen both of the movies and I gotta say, I like the original Lion King a little bit more than the new one. I like the cartoon version. It's more colorful and more playful. And the new one, I don't know, sometimes the lions were a little bit creepy, but it was still pretty cool. Let me know your thoughts on the two movies down in the description below. Just a few more finishing touches and Nala's almost done. Let's give her a cute little button nose and then we could actually use some black 
to draw in her smile and then finally a light brown shade to color in her ears let's cover this with some top coat put it all together and take a look at our completed custom here is Nala from Disney's The Lion King as a My Little Pony. And this lioness is so fierce, you guys. For her tail, I went with the shade that was closest to her body color. I thought it looked nice like that. And her eyes just really pop. They look a lot like a lion. She's just so cute and that cutie mark is awesome. Now, we still have to make a Simba pony. So should we make Simba as an adult or Simba as a cub? Let me know your thoughts down below. And stay tuned because that video is going to be coming out on Tuesday. That's it for today's custom My Little Pony tutorial. I hope that you have enjoyed it thank you so much for watching little pandas until next time bye You can follow me online to get the latest news and updates, like my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Mandapanda Toy Collector, or follow me on Instagram at Mandapanda Toy Collector. Want to mail me something? Guess what? You can mail it to Mandapanda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347.